Poison hemlock is one of the deadliest plants in North America. All parts are toxic. Roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and seeds. Just a small bite can unalive you. It has this innocent looking soft feathery leaves that look like carrot leaves. People often confuse it with wild carrot, queen's ends lace, parsley, or even sometimes yarrow. But poison hemlock has those pur purple blotches on its stems, and the stems are hollow and have very unpleasant mousy odor when crushed. I am not showing it here because I don't have gloves, and touching poison hemlock sap is not safe. Skin contact doesn't usually unalive, but sap can irritate, and if you wrap your eyes or mouth afterwards, you can absorb toxins that, that way. Symptoms of poison hemlock poisoning usually appear 30 minutes to 2 hours after ingestion. It is known to cause nausea, trembling, paralysis, and eventually respiratory failure as the muscles needed for breathing shut down. Immediate treatment in case of accidental ingestion is critical. Analiving has been reported within 2-3 to three hours after ingestion. And there is no antidote. Treatment involves activated charcoal, gastric emptying, respiratory support, IV fluids, seizure control meds given by the ER, and hope that the body itself will not give up on you and manage to metabolize and eliminate toxins by itself. And, and, and right beside it here is yellow dock, a plant valued for centuries. Its roots have been used traditionally to support digestion and liver, and we often look to yellow dock to help with nourishment and restoration. But here's the thing, because this yellow dock is growing right next to the poison hemlock, it is not safe to harvest. Roots can tangle, leaves can brush, and the risk of cross-contamination is just too high. So the lesson here is not fear, it's respect and awareness. I've been foraging for plants for many, many years, and I'm still polishing my plant identification skills, especially in the parsley family. There are many look-alikes for poison hemlock that seemed very harmless and friendly. To me, it was not only carrot and queen's ends lace, but also for the more grown-up hemlock, also my favorite angelica and lomatium also look similar. So I'm still very careful uh, with the plant identification in the parsley family that poison hemlock belongs to. So just a gentle reminder, if you are foraging and wild crafting plants, invest time and effort in a very, very careful plant identification skills.